Today I'm going to be talking about a really great app for creating word webs or sequencing and it's the Poplet app. You can see there's two versions here. There's the Poplet Lite and also the full version Poplet which is $4.99. The Poplet Lite is free and I'll go ahead and open that one up. The main difference between Poplet Lite and the full version is ability to save Poplets and to edit them in the future. This is something that we do a lot in my class. I use Poplet in centers um, quite a bit. We use it in large group quite a bit. And that feature to be able to go back and edit has become real, in hand, real handy for me in the classroom. So it's definitely worth the $4.99 to me. I suggest starting out with a light version. And then as you see how you're using the app, you can decide whether the um, full whether the full version will be something you would want to do. So I just wanted to point out that it does have all the same features as the um, full version. You can you can export in various ways. When you go to settings, you can make new ones, you can paste, do all those things, change the colors. So it's, it's pretty much the full version minus the ability to save and edit in the future. So I'm going to drop out of this and go to the full version. So you can see how it looks different here where I have some poplets that I've already made. This is my personal iPad, so there aren't as many examples on the kids' iPads. Um, we, we save them for the whole year just in case they want to go back to them. So we will start by making a new poplet. Again, in this video, I'm using the Mac mouse to kind of show you what I'm pressing on the iPad. So I'm going to press Make a New Poplet, and we will title it Texas. And you can see that you can pick different colors here. We'll just pick blue this time and then press make it so. And you always start off with this kind of blank box here in the middle. When you touch on the box, just tap it, you get the different things that you can add to it. So for this one, I'm going to press the text box, which is right here. And we are going to type Texas as the center of the poplet. Over here are the um, different options for centering and the text. In my class, I always tell them to make the word as big as possible. It's just easier for us to see. So we're going to leave Texas there in the middle. So you can see it can be moved around however you want. I love this app because it's scalable um, almost infin infinitively so that um, if you want a kid that's going to have a whole bunch of different um, content on there, you can really go as far as you want. We've done some really long sequences with it from left to right, so all that gives you the ability to kind of make it scalable. So the the way you add poplets on here are these um, four little dots around it. So I'm going to press the top dot and you'll see that it adds another poplet on there. I could do that again, press the top one and it'll add a new one. You can connect poplets to other poplets, so you can see I could drag and connect those two if I wanted, or I could delete that connection if I wanted. Um, one of my favorite things about this app is just how intuitive it is for the young kids to pick up. We almost exclusively use the text tool and the picture tool. You can draw in there and you can change the frame color of each individual one if you wanted it to be a different color. Um, that's not something we typically do in my class, but it's real easy to do. So for this one, we're going to add pictures. And what I do in my class is whatever our topic is, I preload the iPad with pictures that they would be using for that week in their poplet. Again, if you taught older classes, they could search for the images on their own, but in starting off in kindergarten, I would preload those. So we are going to go to our Texas symbols, and let's start off with a mark Mockingbird, and we'll pop it in there, and then I'm gonna press the text tool and just type Mockingbird. And again, I like to make the text bigger there so over here on the right hand side I can make the text bigger and then I'll just click on the screen anywhere and you can see that it pops in there. This little black arrow on the right is how you adjust the size of the poplet so I can pull it and make it fit however I want so we'll make that one about like that and again if it's too big you can always just scale it down to whatever size you want it to be so I'm just doing that by doing a finger pinch on the screen in and out and you can make it whatever size. So we'll add a couple more in here and this time let's do the blue bonnet and I just press the text tool to pop up the text that I want to type.
And again, I can change this so that it fits and matches exactly how I want. So this is something that I do in my class a lot during large group instruction. Each week we have we focus on a letter of the week. So the class works with me to create a um, word web. So this this week we made a P word web, and they thought of all kinds of different words that started with a sound P. Um, when we're talking about books, a lot of times we'll do a word web of the different characters or the sequence of the story and just take pictures of the actual pages and put those in there. The, um, the amount of ways you can use this is really unlimited. And again, it's so intuitive for the kids to use. So now that we're done with this poplet, it's easy to share right here. All you have to do is press export. And I usually save it as a JPEG and then email that to my teacher computer. And then we can send it out to our Twitter friends or put it on our blog or print it in the classroom. Also press home. It'll take you back to there and you can see the Texas one we just created is here and there's some of the other poplets we have made. So in this post um, that when I share the video, I'll also share some links to sample poplets that my kids have made independently in the class. We do verbs, we do nouns, insects, whatever we're studying, I try to fit it in with poplet as, as often as possible because once they get it down, the, they can make these independently real easily and it's a great way to do a product in a digital format and then be able to print it. So if you have any questions or concerns, as always, please leave them in the comments. I appreciate you watching.